coming at you from the Irvin Demiola kitchen. It's the Demiola kitchen. That's a sensitive subject to Kyle. Yeah. But since we're talking about names today, I thought I'd start with that and really set the tone for the video. What do you think? <laughs> I'll change it one day. I'll change it one day. We are having this baby in less than a month. We do not know the gender. And we are kind of in the same predicament that we were when we had Ford. We had all girl names and no boy names. And literally in the hospital, we were like, hmm, what about Ford? Mm, yeah, okay. Ford was nameless for about two days. Yeah, people thought we were like hiding it. Like we thought we were celebrities or something. No, we literally just couldn't think of a name. Preparedness. So, our girl names are, I know which one I want. Well, I thought you were about to like just start off the video saying our names. I was like, that wasn't the plan. No. Now, I do like the name August. I did like the name August for a boy or girl. But um, our girl name is probably one of my favorite names. We've got two that are really good. And Kyle is really wanting a girl. So... I really thought this baby was a boy. I was leaning more towards boy. But now, I don't know why I'm leaning toward maybe that it's a girl. No one has said anything. My designer has not let it slip because if you guys have watched our other videos, you know that I gave the gender to my interior decorator who is doing the whole nursery install when we go into the hospital, which is gonna be such a fun piece of content to share it with you guys. And I feel like such a new fun version of like a gender reveal. You could even have your mom or your sister do that idea. Um, it's like the best of both worlds because you're not finding out, but you're getting prepared at the same time. So I love that. We are gonna be prepared with the nursery. We are gonna be hopefully prepared. We have less than a month, but um, preparing like the baby's clothes and stuff like that being gender neutral and the fact that we didn't know what ford was either it's pretty easy because we're just gonna like rewash all of ford's old stuff it's got a lot of stains on it and stuff like that <laughs> but it's just a lot of love in those onesies so um i never get too stressed about that i think a lot of people are like well i have to find out the gender of my baby because how will i get the clothes if you were a parent that has had a baby before, you realize that those newborn things, they only go up not to very many pounds and you're like literally done with them like that. And then you have to get new clothes anyways. So why not just get gender neutral, newborn in zero to three months. And if you have an iPhone or any sort of smartphone, you can literally shop online and buy something in two seconds. Before we go to boy names that we're not using, that we did talk about, why don't you show them what I'm cooking up? Oh, okay. How's the chef tonight? Because we've been working literally like dogs. Um, we have been trying to get as much done as we possibly can, so we've been just kind of dividing and conquering um, different things. So tonight Kyle is cooking. And we're cooking a Hello Fresh meal. I'm cooking. What is this? Which one are you rice. cooking? Or no. Rice. Okay. Korean beef. This is one of my favorite ones. Bibimbap. Okay, I'm running to unlock the front door. My parents took Ford to eat at my sister and brother in law's house. Everybody's like, slow down, slow down. For me to be able to slow down, I have to be able to finish certain things. I've taken a lot of things off of my to do list. But there are still things that have to be done. So I'm striving so hard to finish as many things as I can, to take off the things that don't need to be done now, and to really, you know, let Kyle and let my parents and everyone that is offering help all the time to really help out. So we let them take Ford tonight, and um, we're just going to cook this hella fresh meal, and we're just getting some work done. So we've talked about this so many times, but we love the Hello Fresh meals because they're so simple. Because everything's pre-measured and easy, you can literally get a meal on the table in 30 minutes. And I'm hungry. So. Mm. Ooh la la. We're teaching Ford to say ooh la la. Because Julian knows how to say it and we really want Ford to be able to say it. 
let me just do a disclaimer. If your name or your child's name is any of, or any of these names, this is just a personal preference that we've chosen the names that we've chosen. And if Kyle makes some random off comment about one of your child's names, he means no offense. I stand by. <laughs> I stand, anything I say, I stand by. <laughs> How hard is it to name a baby? A name is so important. It follows them for the rest of their life. It's so hard because you don't know which names are gonna become A, overused, B, trendy, um, or C, just like not fit the baby. There's just no way of knowing those things. So, um, you know, my parents said like when I was born and they chose the name Mallory, um, I think they were choosing between Allison, Ashley, and Mallory. At that time, there were like no Ashleys and hardly any Allisons. And like, you know, the name Ashley is so popular now. So it's just so funny how that can happen. And, and my mom was in a restaurant. She heard someone say the name Mallory and she was like, that must be a family name. I've never heard it before. So long story short, she found out it wasn't a family name because she found it in a baby book. And, um, she ended up naming me Mallory, but you know, you just never know. If she would have named me Ashley, that would have been fine, but like, I would have been one of like a million Ashleys. So, we really want a name that feels unique to our child. That's what we did with Ford. We felt like I only knew two Fords in the entire world. One is my age and one is like three. And now it seems like everyone's like, oh, I got a Ford. Oh, I know a Ford. And I'm like, no, please don't happen to my name. But anyways, Kyle, do you have any comments on your rare, unique name, Kyle? Kyle thinks his name is very rare and unique. It was rare and unique and, until everybody on the internet started Six doing months the, ago? Uh, the funny monster, like Kyle's drink monster energy drinks and punch holes in drywall. I've never... So you think until <clears throat> the memes started coming out that your name was rare? To me. I've never punched a wall, ever. And I don't, I don't even know if I've ever had a monster energy drink. You, you drink about six smart cups a day, so don't even go yeah, on the Kyle doesn't drink energy drinks kicks because Kyle oh, drinks a lot of energy drinks. <laughs> Kyle's still over there cooking his bim bim bop, however you say that. Um, he really likes the, he really thinks this one is super delicious, don't you? I love it. This is one of my, um, one of your faves. One of my faves. Um, and just a fun fact that HelloFresh has more five star like rated meals than any of the other um, meal kits and stuff like that. I see some rice overflowing currently. A lot of people will ask about affordability. It's like $6.99 a serving from $6.99 a serving. And so you're going to get like the most meal I feel like for your money too. Can I get one of those or what? So we really like HelloFresh because it's flexible. So when we go into the hospital in a couple weeks, um, you can just cancel it. You can change like your, your dates and you can skip a week and stuff like that. So I like anything that's like flexible, especially if you're signing up for something that's like an every month thing. You don't want it to be so strict to where you feel like, you know, you're gonna like not get your money's worth or you're gonna lose out on money one, one week because you're going on vacation or something like that. So it's already chopped up all this stuff. because I'm wearing my sweatshirt and because you guys were awesome and bought 50 million sweatshirts I feel like that was an exaggeration it wasn't really 50 million but it was a heck of a lot so I'll put the link in the bio that we're doing a little flash sale of some kids merch sorry this is so random and back and forth but I got a lot I want to tell you guys today how cute are these they are so soft and precious and printed just like um, the Living Fully ones uh, with the adult sizes. So we also have t-shirts and we have um, like asphalt color t-shirts and sweatshirts too. I'll put the link in the bio below. Um, as you guys know from this sale, once things are gone, they're gone and they always sell out. I'm gonna actually give a name that we might use for a boy. So, we have gone back and forth on the name Luke a lot. It's my brother's name, so my family and my siblings think it's weird because there's already someone in our family named that. 
but I still really like the name Luke. I also have another brother named Gabriel, so I'm kind of leaving him out, and I, like, adore him. And your husband thinks it's weird. But, and, and he thinks it's weird that I'm, like, naming my brother's name. But I really hope the comments are on. They keep getting turned off and on and off and on. Do you think it's weird to name a child the name of your brother? Comment below. Also comment below, do you like your name? Because that's something that I was talking about a while ago. So many people don't like their names. Kyle, do you like your name? Yeah, I like mine. I like my name too. I will tell you too. For us, girls' names have been a lot easier. So we have two locked and loaded girls' names that we absolutely love. Love. Absolutely love. I would tell you what they begin with, but... If I tell you that, it'll give them away, I think. Even though one of these names I know you've never heard. The other one, it might give it away. You know what I'm going to tell them? I'm going to tell them the syllable. No, 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 no. You don't think I can tell them the syllables? No. Everybody's going to start naming their kids that. A, a name with a certain amount of syllables? Do you know what a syllable is? <laughs> yes. What's a syllable? It's like uh, the one, well, okay, the one we're thinking of has two. Whew, that got a little hairy there. <laughs> okay, what are you cooking now? Ooh, yes, I like, so you chop garlic and ginger and put it with this meat and it's so good. And I feel like this is something, even if you're not doing a HelloFresh meal, this is something that you could do to like a, a ground turkey or ground chicken or ground beef and really like spice it up and make it taste like a little bit more Korean beef bibimbap. <laughs> Now, weren't you worried about how my rice is going to turn out? Look how nice Ooh, and Ooh, what off. a delight, Kyle. How nice and full off that rice. Super today. fluffy. <laughs> I went through a phase where I really loved, like, sweet names for girls. I, I loved the name Violet. I thought that was the cutest name. But I feel like there's too many different ways to pronounce it, like Violet or Violet or Violet. <laughs> so I kind of, like, didn't end up liking that one. What are some of the other names that we kind of, without telling the ones, because we're still going back and forth on several names, and we don't want to reveal those names because I feel like it kind of like taints your point of view about them. If people start making comments about it, it's all yeah. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. There it is. <laughs> mm, that looks mm. delightful. I really haven't like come across a name that I didn't just think of in my head on a website or an app. So if anyone has like a website where it's good to look for names, tell us, cause we're still struggling. Okay, so ones that we like that we didn't use. I used to like the name Scarlet. I like the name August. Um, I can only eat like one bite of this. I forget, guys names are hard. I like the name Luca. Um, but Tyler and Haley named their baby mm -hmm. Luca. Two of our friends in Nashville. But I think we've got a really good guy one that's really grown on me. So. That we just thought of. It was like, it was kind of like Ford. Just all of a sudden we were like, mm, do you like this name? And, I, and I've given do it you worry that it's like trendy? Two. Yeah, I don't know. I don't mind. think it's, it's a very strong name. And I've given it like a week or two and I still really, really like it. Um, so I think that'll probably be the one. If we have a boy. But now we think we're having a girl, maybe. So, I don't know. We have two really strong, like, tied female names. Oh, we, they're tied now? I really like both of them 50-50. You know where I'm putting all my rocks. I know what bucket you're putting your rocks in, Kyle. Um, so, I hope you guys liked us trying to think through our names and continuing to think through our names and um, sharing with you just a few of those names that we like but we are not using. Sorry we couldn't share more because we still have so many that we're like going through in our head. So you will find out in less than a month which one we end up using. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring and collaborating with us on this video. Uh, we love HelloFresh and I have a discount code, so if you guys go to HelloFresh.com, you can enter Mallory Irvin 80 and you can get $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. That's like $20 off the first four boxes. It's a great deal if you guys want to try it out. Um, so give it a try, and thanks so much for watching. Leave your favorite baby names below. Help us out.